Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. This is your host, as always, Wee and Neo. <sighs> Boy, does it ever feel good to be, uh, I guess, LPing this again. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, how's life? Okay, we're all good on that. We got a timer going. Okay, so we're here in Wasteland. Ow, doing what we do. I do what I do when I do what I do. And we are slowly but surely making our way to um, this new bubble that has formed. And remember, you kitties were like, uh. You kitties didn't say anything, actually. You know what? Fuck that. <laughs> Let's go to the final world. It's not really the final, final world, but you know. He's my buddy, not my, not my buddy. Cloud Cuckoo Land. Cloud Cuckoo Land. Very difficult name. Very fucking weird world. You turn around and then you say, Holy Bazinga, what the fuck is this? It's literally just a mountain that's floating in the sky with tons of floating islands around it. Now, if you fall, you die off any of these. Um, fortunately enough for us, we actually... Uh, have multiple ways to get around this world. You might be thinking, well, flight pads might be the more natural way. But you actually have these plants that shoot you from island to island. Um, you'll find these levitating bird thingies later. I know it sounds all very weird right now, but uh, trust me, it makes more sense once we get into it. I found a strange looking seed. Don't need those. Is it edible? Of course, Kazooie always thinking about the food. She's got to be that character. If this were an anime, she'd be the fat one who's always thinking about food, but pulls off the badass thing at the end. So I got two beans in here. And I'm just doing this just, you know, because, hey, why not? Uh, so there's only two warp pads in this world. Yes, count them two. One that we found near the entrance. And one in this central cavern. Literally, those are the only two. Now, the central cavern this is going to act as your, like, uh, your, basically, your main room for this world. And yes, those are flat, sausage-wielding, angry things. So, don't want to piss them off. But, uh, first on the agenda, as you can clearly see, there is an egg here, which means we will hatch this and see what we find. Um, there we go. Once again, I had to remember what it was. Wow, that's a rare Floatus Floatium creature. Rare Floatius Floatium, indeed. It will actually be used... We can use it as Banjo to, um... Hover to areas. Hold on. It's basically used for Banjo to go long distance. No, Banjo, don't go passing out. It's not what I wanted you to do. But Banjo can float with it, and he has a time limit. Unfortunately, you can't really control whether he goes higher or lower. You can only control which direction he's floating. So you can't really use these things to get around as well as you might think. But, um... Damn it, Banjo. There we go. But you have to get into here to learn a new banjo move anyways. So, let's pick this up right now. When faced by danger, jump on top. Now in the backpack, you can hop, hold button L or R, and then press right stick up. Safely inside is where you'll be. That didn't rhyme at all. Gash me ashed. Dismissed indeed. Um, so that's all good in the neighborhood. No, Banjo, there you go, falling asleep again. Are we in it? Okay. <laughs> I was trying to go, it just wasn't working. Okay. Um, getting around in here can actually be pretty difficult as Banjo, but uh, overall you should be able to get around as long as you know and utilize the ow, the double jump technique. Um... It's not at all what I wanted to happen. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't know 
what is uh, our best method to go about here for uh, picking up stuff. Um, I guess we could do one of the more difficult ones first. Actually, never mind, that's not, that's not what I want. Okay, well, let's go exploring. <laughs> like, eh, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I know this world really well, but it's literally, um, it's still confusing, even if you've been through it like 50 million times. Oh, holy shit, I didn't know it was gonna give me a time limit. Uh... Oh! I remember. Right. <laughs> we, um, fucking... We can't do that yet because we actually need Mumbo. So, surprise, surprise. We won't be able to do that yet. Okay, well... Now I am going to be utterly confused for... a while trying to figure out this shit. I hear Globo. I know where it is. Oh, H-Man K1, you just had to get your thing in there, didn't you? Just had to stick it in there. Ew. It's a Minjo, man. It's a Minjo. And he got me. Uh, this is Mumbo's hut, but we probably should have grabbed that Globo. Uh, just an idea. Just a slight idea. We also, I don't know if you've noticed or not yet, but there are two Mumbo Skulls in this world. So, surprise, surprise on that front. As for what they do, well, we'll see later. But we're gonna go to the red one first. Grab our... Fucking Globo. Fucking Globo. Fucking, fucking make me swim to the bottom of fucking life. Grab fucking Globo. See, but I don't know if I should even utilize Mumbo right now because I don't even know if we can do what he has to do yet. <laughs> Which makes it even more confusing. Now, this is a tricky. Well, it's not really tricky, this is actually quite simple. Here. And we blow up on the switch. Now you're gonna see those switches around. And you can only activate them with Clockwork Kazooie eggs, so keep that in mind. You won't be able to just simply go and step on them as like Banjo or Kazooie. They just don't work like that, man. That would be cool if it did. Definitely don't want to be up on that guy's grill. Okay. And this... Please tell me that's not Mumbo's pad up there. It is. Well, f okay. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry that I'm not, like, an expert on this world. It's... Once again, like I said, it's just... It's one of those worlds It's like, man... There's just so much stuff to pay attention to. And it's just, it's super confusing your first time through. And it's not my first time through, trust me, by all means, this is not blind. But uh, I have actually never 100%ed this world. So, huzzah huzzah. I've actually never 100%ed this game. <sighs> and also, sadly, this world has the, uh, has the part I've been dreading for the entire game. Um, it has the, uh, what I claim to be the hardest thing you would ever have to do in a video game, ever. The hardest challenge, pure. Just plain and simple, hardest challenge ever in a video game. And that's quite an accomplishment, considering it's just Banjo-Tooie, but trust me, they pull it off quite well. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it, if I can't. Um, I will by all means try my hardest, but if I am unable to do it, then um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to go about showing it. 
because I've tried multiple times on the Xbox version of this game, and it's just, it's not happening. It's literally, in all my other worlds, it's the one Jiggy and one Cheeto page I do not have. So, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but I guess we'll see when we get there. So now we got Mumbo, and we're going over to his pad, and <laughs> Mumbo's pad, ew. We're going to Ikumbokum it up. Hope this works. Rain dance. Fucking goes all Skittles on us and tastes the rainbow. It starts to rain. Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Just realize there's more than one thing you're supposed to do when you do this. <laughs> that makes the pot of gold um, available to get to. Sadly. There's something else we needed to do before that, but... Ugh. I will electrocute your ass, B. Damn it, he got me. Run! Okay. Well, we're gonna have to do this again at some point, sadly. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well. I'm sure it's not that bad. You have to watch me run around as Mumbo's stupid ass. Oh, nice landing, Mumbo. Right in the water. Okay. Let's go back to Banjo and Kazooie and see if we can pull off some more ridiculous stuff here. And if not, then we, uh... We'll just do the pot of gold then and pick up our first Jiggy. I have a feeling this first episode isn't going to have any Jiggy collecting in it at all. That's going to be terrible. And I'm sorry in advance if that's how it turns out. I can climb up that thing. But I'm not going to. Because I have no idea where it will take us. Why is this room so jagged and... Just everything. <laughs> Ow! Man! If there's one thing you don't want to do, it's get slapped by a sausage. Especially by a green, weird, wielding, purple guy. Green, weird, wielding, purple guy. Yeah, that's how it goes. So here's our second Mumbo Skull. Granted, uh, I'm not sure we can do what we need to do in there yet. But, well, actually, I think we can. And it's a flight pad, so that's always helpful. But we might as well do this now. The Minjo is real. The Minjo is not a lie. Surprise, surprise. Hello, Banjo. Mumbo has big surprise for you. Oh, I like surprises. No, we don't. Especially not when they're coming from Mumbo's ass. I told you, Crafty shaman impersonator. He's a gypsy. Har har har, foolish bear. You can't feel my gypsy magic into my trap. What does it even mean? I'm not that pathetic shaman you think I am. I'm a gypsy, and your worthless quest ends here. As you see, there's no escape. Resistance is futile. Yes, Minji Jongo, or whatever his name is. Bizarre. My elaborate disguise is ruined, revealing my evil cyborgness. Cyborgness. Woohoo! Ow. But this is overall a very easy boss, but very surprising when it first happened. I think we all pooped a little. So keep removing parts of his cyborgian armor. This boss is literally going to be a joke because of, uh, Honeyback. But if not, if I didn't have Honeyback, you can see that this boss would actually be pretty challenging. Uh, especially in these later hits, when he starts teleporting every time he fires like that. But once again, I think I've said this before, I don't think any boss in this game is really that difficult. It's just a matter of knowing the strategy and getting used to it. Get his ass! Damn it! Okay. We'll 
get him next time. The trick is to stay far away. That gives his uh, bullets more time to figure a straight path rather than immediately curve and get you. I calculate my chance of stopping you are now minimal. Oh, and because we killed him up there, we're gonna get his blood spewing everywhere. Or his green cyborginess. Nice. And we're free to go. And that's our boss for the world. We get our first G. <laughs> Breathe some fire and victory. <laughs>